It's the GMR Podcast number 25. Tonight we discuss the beginning of Big Brother 15. like a crowd here yeah ray well there still is in a way there's 16 new uh house guests Mm. and it it does feel kind of crowded it's crazy oh it's it's our it's our 25th podcast today wow 25 we've survived about half a year pretty good crazy I'm Marty Catola, as always. And Gene Mott. It's the GMR podcast. What's the R? It's whatever you want it to be. Random. Random. Revolving. Revolving randomness. So, you watch that Big Brother? Big Brother. Big Brother 15, off to a good start. There's like 16 people in the house. We may talk about something else later on. So stick with us, but we're going to have to have our Big Brother speech first. 16 people. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of Big Brother. As I am uh, akin to saying each year, there's still way too many people in the house, but it looks like there's a lot of moving and shaking going on, as we have already looked on hamsterwatch.com and and know more than we should if we were just CBS viewers, which is all I watch. I just watch the episodes. Gene likes to watch all the After Dark as yeah, much as possible. Yeah, I would have watched the two episodes of After Dark that have aired by now. This is Friday. What is it? Uh, June 20... Tw- 28th. 28th. Last show of the month. Oh, let's also let them know that the live program of the end of television... Oh, yeah, the end of television. It has a new time slot. What, what time is that, Marty? Third Saturdays of the month at 6 p.m. Mm, even earlier. Even earlier. Now, the show at 8.30 is Noche de Sonora, so it looks oh, like we might still nice. get pie we and coffee. We might have some pie and coffee. 8.30, that's a long... That's a long uh, yeah, I guess... like an hour and a half between... More setup time for them, I guess. Uh, oh, I guess that works for them. They're rearranging stuff. Call Me Crazy and Robert Show are on different times as well. You can find that all on... Access Tucson dot org. But uh, I got to say that immediately, as soon as I saw Jeremy, I nearly shit because he bears a strong resemblance the big, to the, the Jeremy I knew. Guy. Yes. Uh, who I used to be on the on the show many, many years ago. He did a short, short but memorable stint. And this guy, I, I'd be shocked if he's not some sort of distant relative. Yeah, so. this guy's already made two alliances of uh, <laughs> with the. Uh, he has an alliance with four other people at this point. Yeah. Like two groups of two. And he's got that have not pass. Yeah. For yeah. all summer. He's a shifty motherfucker. Yeah. He doesn't care about anybody else. He did, totally didn't have uh, that guy Howard's back. Oh, yeah. Didn't have any of the, his alliances back. Spencer. Yeah. So I think there's about, oh, at least half of that house you got to look out for. There's some strong power players it seems like anyway so far and there's like four or five alliances already building i don't really think the uh, three nominee factor is going to affect things that much until i found out what the other twist was that america and you know how we love to vote for big brother stuff gets to pick the MVP of the week, and that person then picks who they want to be the third nominee, which has already happened for this week. Yeah, and that's all done in secret. Nobody knows. None of the other house mates oh, know who, know who the it is. most valuable uh, player is. And they don't, have to, they don't have to tell. I guess they could tell, but why? That would prob- that'd put an extra little bit of a target on your back. And that's what it's all about, is keeping a target off your back. I think uh, I think the MVP already told somebody. Yeah. So. How do you know that? Well, I read it on that website. Oh, oh, yeah. I, there's a lot of information on hamsterwatch.com. 
dot com. Is that what it is? Yeah. A lot of information. Like, we already know who the nominees are, even though it's Friday. Yeah. And so who are those nominees? Well, the way I figure it is, everybody else already knows yeah. because they subscribe to this stuff. So why shouldn't I know? The two nominees. Well, and I'm gonna have to pull that page back up. If you had the After Dark, so you'd be able to you'd, figure you'd it know. out. If I had the live feed, we'd know. Yeah, yeah, because we totally know. If I had the money, I would buy you the live feed. I'd get the live feed, and then I'd uh, watch it on my iPod or pad or whatever the <laughs> heck these kids do these days. So as we uh, saw, McRae won the first HOH, which yeah. I always think is a bad idea because that's a cursed position. Only Hayden was able to break that curse, and that was because he had a strong alliance, I think. That was way back in, what, season 12? Uh, something like that, yeah. And he was also the only Arizona winner, which was kind of cool. Uh and then McCree, won. he had a smile on his face the whole time. Yeah. He was up there for like over four hours. Mm -hmm. The other people are convinced that he's not just a pizza boy, but he really just mm -hmm. is. He uh, put up Candace and Jesse for HOH knobs. Jesse. Now, I know Jesse is the one who thinks she is the prettiest one in the house. Oh. And then uh, Candace is the one with two families. Mm. From what I remember of hers. Uh, it says here, Jesse's jonesing for a cigarette because they, ah. they won't let him on the back porch. And Candace, we don't see too much of her yet, which kind of makes you think, hmm, she might go out first because usually Not. people that aren't making an impression tend to go out the first yeah. week. You got you to gotta do something to yeah. first keep yourself off the block. So and they're calling apparently they're calling McCree Chum Lord oh, yeah. whatever that means. He's already got a name. I guess we'll find out what that means. Soon. And he won the he won power the, of veto. the power of veto also. So that's so he be gets to keep his nominations the same. Yeah. And there's even the though whole, one of the nominations isn't his. That's true. That's what I was about to say. The whole MVP Alyssa won the. M MVP the first week. Now, now that's uh, Rachel's sister. Is it? Mm-hmm. So America's already fucking with the game by uh, giving that to her. Is that, some, is that America's way of trying to uh, put attention on her or America's way of trying to help her? Either way, she put up David, the surfer guy, as the third nominee. So That guy looks pretty stoned. <laughs> or at least medicated. I was thinking, is is this an act, or did they see him and went, oh, we're definitely putting this guy on? Because they look for interesting characters to populate the house with, I think. Well, obviously, this, there's been months and months Obvi. of... Obvi. Obvi, Brendan. Months and months and months of uh, research and work done to yep. figure out the exact right blend for the Big Brother stew. So, uh, based on having seen that episode twice now, yeah. who uh, who do you think He's is my, your early pick? My early pick? Well, I'm gonna have to say I like McCree just because he had that smile on his face. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, and he, he's killing it so far. The guy with the beard, Spencer. Oh yeah, could be, could be, or Nick. Yes, also someone else, I would think, yeah. So I'm going to go with my top four. I'm going to go Spencer, Nick, McCree, and uh, Howard. Yeah, see, I, I got a strong feeling about Howard as well. Uh, I think we shouldn't underestimate Andy. Although my total blind pick was Judd. See, I was about I to say Judd. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, was my, that was my first instinct. So I've got, like, I don't know, way too many people in my... Well, there seems to be a lot of strong players. While in some years, it seemed like they picked people that didn't even want to be on Big Brother. They just wanted to be on something. Do they have an equal amount of uh, guys and girls? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, there's eight and eight. Yes. Eight and eight. And apparently somebody's already hooked up on the show. Oh, yeah. We've already discovered that uh, Jeremy and uh, who, who was it here? Uh, Caitlin. Uh, Jeremy, the guy that uh, looks like the guy that used to be on the Forbidden Zone. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's and for the, the crazy Minnesota, the forbidden zones. <laughs> Minnesota chick, Caitlin, who said, guys get the wrong idea from me. So well, maybe that's because you hook up with guys the first week you know them. Mm-hmm. So a lot of stuff happening real quick so in there. We don't even know what the sex or what the hookup is. Yeah, I'm sure if I read more, I would uh, be able to discover. But it says here that it happened 628. At, so it's at last night at 321 a.m. it happened. Ah, crazy. <laughs> so what, what day did they actually get in the house? Do you know? Well, they usually move them in uh, the weekend before the show starts. So they've probably been in there a little over a week at this point. Or coming up on a week, I should say. They prob- In other words, last Saturday, I think. Fri- either last Friday or Saturday they moved in. Because those first nominees, they're on the block for a long time. Mm-hmm. Like... From the point that, that, uh, yeah, it's like two weeks. Yeah. Oh, so uh, one of the twists is three nominees, like we said. And then did we mention how that third nominee gets up there, that America America votes? votes. Oh, yes, America's crazy vote. You should always uh, check your big big brother. What is it, bigbrother.com or Uh, cbs.com? cbs.com. And and vote and all the big brother stuff you can. We'll see how uh, complicated they make the voting this year. So, twenty-four-seven live feeds. Yep, yep. Thirty percent savings over last season. Wow. So my, now might be the time to hook up with that. You're out there and you like some Big Brother. Thirty percent savings. I don't know what it was last year, but thirty percent sounds like. Yeah, you got nothing to do for the next three months. Get some Big Brother feed. And now you can watch it on uh, your phone and your portable device. Yeah, now, so, so you can be sitting there or just have that in the background the whole time. Watching the house guests. You're not connected to the Internet. Well, that's going to get hard to... Oh, no, that's not true. I don't I don't necessarily believe that. Well, because that's what it uh, said. The Internet just I told know you that's that, what then. it says, but then this but page works. But you're on works. the Internet. You know, that, that works, so... So... Eh, they, they need to fix their link, I think. Day, it's day seven in there is what it says ah, at the yes. top. Day, okay. day June seven. June 27th, day seven. So this was yesterday? Yeah. That's not, yeah. This is yesterday's posting. So they've been in there eight days at this point. And McCree is killing the whole show. Yeah. And he's won everything. He's got to either keep that up or lay low or something because you come on too strong uh-huh. in the beginning. And also... He would walk in the room and they'd all shut up and clear out. The so only, the only time that you would it would not be a good idea to win the veto or the head of household is if you felt 100% safe. And if you don't feel 100% safe, I would say you need to win that veto every week. And are you ever truly 100% safe in the Big Brother house? I. Oh no! Not unless you're fucking the person who's head of household. Then you might, or 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 living in their room, you know. That's true. And even then, <laughs> you, <laughs> you never can get backdoored or uh, thrown under a bus, or a, a number of bad things could happen to you. But off to an excellent start, I think. Yeah, yeah. I was captivated from the second it started, and I went, "Why is Julie Chen in the house?" That's. Cr- Freaked me out. I I don't believe I've seen her in the house ever, actually. I was thinking about it like season one, they weren't in the house. There was some other guy in the house, and she was talking to them. Ah, yeah. Way back on season one. What was that? Uh, 13 years ago? Two, year 2000? Something like that, yeah. It's a lot of hours of Big Brother. It really is. You stack all those hours. They're in there for three months. You could If you had the live feeds all recorded yeah and filed away and there was no after dark for the long time the first six seven years something like that see the after dark is good but they'll switch the they'll switch like they'll be outside and then they'll switch somewhere else and you'll be like i want to know what's going on outside so that's why you need the the live feed so you can stay outside ah that's what i think i need the goddamn live feeds and according to a hamster watch they have not been allowed out. Nobody's outside, yet. and there are smokers in the house. So you know tensions are high. I bet. Now the girl who hooked up with that dude was she one of the smokers? Uh, I don't think so. Mm. But we we'll, we we will find out. Who was the girl that smoked? I still can't remember all their names. 
It's too uh, early I on. I think the one that smoked was the one who was nominated, Jesse. And not Jesse, the wrestler guy that keeps mm. showing up endlessly. But uh, I hope he come makes a comeback this year. Well, he's already been on more than anybody. He is. He must be so. America's favorite asshole or something, right? <laughs> Yes, Jesse, who was nominated, who thinks she is the prettiest mm. girl in there, is jonesing for a cigarette, mm. according to HamsterWatch.com. So, thought it was Caitlyn who needed a cigarette. No, Caitlyn is the one who uh, apparently is already hooked up with Jeremy. Ah, well, that Jeremy's a fine piece of meat. You can't blame her. He's moving fast. You know, he's making all the moves. He's going to be eating all summer. Wait a minute. That's true. He will be eating all summer. If he lasts that long, well, he's not on the block this month or no, this time. No, he, he he is completely just uh. You'd have think you'd have thought the they'd have been like, "Hey, fuck this guy. He's eating food. He fucking ditched me, right?" Yeah. Not that not that anybody, or that's the only basis that that would have been a good reason to nominate him, right? Oh, of course, but he's already. Like, I have a, no know. idea why these people are nominated or what what McCree is going to say to them. Don't you just like saying McCree? That's probably why they put him in there. They just like saying that. So it's off to a to quite a start here. Oh the yeah, Big Brother. And I don't feel I know enough about it to. I don't know. Final four. I've already said my final four. All right, let's talk about them individually here, so I can help. So we can. Andy, Andy's the. Perf- All right, let's start at the top. Aaron, what's her name? Aaron. Now, Aaron. we know she stayed on the popsicle for a long time. She was the last girl on the popsicle. Uh, Amanda. Amanda. Now, who the now, hell is Amanda? Amanda's been also staying low as well. She spent an hour or more talking in bed with McCree, ah, telling him he looks like Jim Morrison. So yeah. that's hilarious. Do you think he looks like Morrison? I hadn't thought that yet, so... But I'm sure she's trying to butter him up. Oh, you got to butter him up. Look, he's already got some facial hair going. Yep, yep. He's just like, screw it. I'm going to be McCree. Then we got Andy, who I, you get that feeling like you better watch out. Yeah. Because this guy might be, you know, He's the gay professor. Mm Mm-hmm. The gay, the prerequisite, got to have a gay guy. Yeah. There ain't a gay guy in the show. And they mixed, they mixed the prerequisite gay guy with prerequisite professor they put it in one person this time yeah, so yeah. Well, they like to good. mix and match like that keep you keep you on your toes each year now so. i don't remember if all these people admitted to their their actual jobs did they uh i know helen who we haven't gotten to oh, yet yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, she yeah, said yeah, she yeah. wasn't going to talk about that she actually works in politics okay, and see how okay. that works for her all right, so let's keep moving down the list. We uh, got Andy. We, we got Candace. Okay, go with, going over to Candace. She's on the block right now. She's been right nominated. Now, and she's the one that says, I have two families, she's but we don't really know anything of her yet. And it also says here, she's another one I don't see often, don't really know what to make of her yet. You're nominated the first week. If you don't make that impression, you might be out the door. Yeah, She yeah. didn't win the veto, so... Then uh, we got David, who reminds me of uh, Timothy Van Patten from the Mac, uh, Master Ninja oh, series. Those are, those are classic. And he says dude a lot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then we have Alyssa, who oh. got the uh, MVP. Now, she's Rachel's sister. Rachel of past Big Brother episodes. Not Rachel Ray, but Rachel. Rachel Riley. Riley. So Who won... Yes, yeah, she did win the second time she played the game. That's right. Uh, against the, all odds. Yeah, pe- against all odds. People in the house have already figured out that Elisa is Rachel's sister. We'll see how long she I know. Lasts. She should have She should have come in there with like a crazy haircut, something, like real short. Yeah, a way real, to try to disguise it. but You know, maybe get some piercings or something, right? Mm-hmm. Something. Then we have Gina Marie, who is uh, Long Island. Is that correct? Yeah, she's the one from Long Island. Uh, Spencer seems to think she's obnoxious, so we'll see what happens here. Yet, uh, Judd seems to want to hook up with her from what oh, I Oh, yeah, saw. that's right. That's right. Like they were the first group in the house, right? Yeah, that's true. 
You think they throw those groups in there hoping they'll form like just real quick alliances or what? Oh, that depending on what number you are going in the house, it does make a difference. Because the think. last group always gets screwed. They don't yeah. get the good yeah. bed. They don't. Get, they might not even get a bed. Sounds we, like they don't even have enough beds at the point. At least what we were watching. Yeah, we haven't even seen the have not room oh, yet. Yeah, they, so they've already had the had not competition. That's true. Let's spoil it for everybody. Uh, let's see. Then we have Helen. We all, all we know is that she's in politics and she's hiding her job from everybody, yeah, which rarely works Chicago. out. If you don't, if you don't uh, tell the truth in there about your job, yeah, it rarely then works. Once, for you. Then once somebody finds out, then they're like, "Oh, you lied to us the whole fucking time." Yeah, yeah. Then they're yeah. Then you're just an asshole because mm-hmm. you lied to me from day one. Yeah. I thought we were friends. <laughs> exactly. What the fuck? What I ever do to you? Mm-hmm. Then you got a uh, Howard, who uh, I had a good feeling about immediately. He instantly got into a uh, alliance with Jeremy and Spencer. Yeah, they happened to be in the same room, and they were drinking the champagne. And it doesn't look like Jeremy really gives a shit because he dropped off of that uh, yeah. popsicle pretty quick for that have-not for the summer. It at least pissed Howard off. Plus, Jeremy's in an alliance with a puck. I don't even remember who those other two girls were. And he gets his muscle milk this way, too. Oh, yeah. Who was the guy that wanted his muscle milk? Uh, yeah, that's right. Jeremy is in an alliance is, with though, uh, you're a have not, two other right? people as well. You're basically getting muscle milk because they give you those protein shakes. I, I don't know. I just watched the, the okay. show. I don't see that other stuff. I'm explaining it. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Have nots get to drink protein shakes. And, like, eat pickles. They can have all the fucking pickles they want. <laughs> and they can have, like, there's, like, a little list of foods they can have. Mm. And they don't really want you to know all this shit, like the Big Brother producers. Because, like, some they have a manual there that they keep. It's, like, one of the things you can read. Ah. Something to read. But you're not supposed to talk about You're not supposed to read it out loud. Yeah. I'd I'd and like I'd love the, to read that. It's all the rules and all the different, every, every fucking question you might have or... It's the guy, you know, the guidelines. Mm-hmm. Well, you can have all the pickles you want, want all the pickles you want, all the fucking uh, muscle or all the protein shakes you can fucking eat, drink, or stomach. Because I remember somebody bitching about not getting their muscle milk because they were have not. Oh, so. Well, maybe that's a little, you know, I think milk, no, you have to mix it with water, right? You can't. Milk, I don't think milk is, like, on the list of have-not foods. Mm. We'd have, I'm sure somewhere all this in, that kind of information is out there. Somebody must have spilled the beans. Probably. But, so I don't think it'd be that bad to be a have-not, except for when you're, like, having dinner and you, you have... Last year, the have-nots actually had it pretty good. Like, some of that food they had, like uh, salmon. Let's eat salmon all week, right? Well, that's protein. Let's oh, cereal. yeah. Or cereal. The funky foods you that we vote all, on for. Yeah, them. we get to vote on the foods. And if you're a real asshole, you vote for the worst foods, right? You just, like, oh, you can have rock candy and fucking whatever else rhymes with rock candy, you know? Mm-hmm. Something horrible. But where was I going with that? Oh, I'm not sure. But uh, All right, continuing down the list. Jeremy... Will never be a have not, which puts a target on his back, but it's going to be rough to get him out of there. But we'll see. We'll see. Well, he looked like he could have maybe won that competition. He was just being a dick. That's true. You know, he was like, oh, okay, this other guy didn't get the, get the, it was, there was a prize. The, the two last people, or the last, there were four people, and then the, the two who dropped next. The final, leaving the final. Explain this, Marty. There was, were, four, there was four people left on the endurance competition for HOH, which means who you're going to nominate. If you don't know what we're talking about by this point, I'm sorry. It's Big Brother. Big Brother, hashtag BB15. They bring out two lunch boxes. They say if the next person drops, gets to open one of these lunch boxes, and inside one of these lunch boxes, you get a have not passed for the entire summer. So, first guy, surfer guy, drops. They kind of manipulate him into dropping. He finds nothing but a piece of bread. 
Then Jeremy drops like nothing and opens up the other box, getting a have not yeah, pass. Now he... this guy is like almost seven foot tall, so he's not going to be starved at all. As soon as he re- he was like, <laughs> what, "What's in that box? What's and in that's the box, not bro? Good. It's empty." That's not good. As soon as he heard it was empty and he knew it was empty, he let go. That's not good fucking for the rest over, of the house. Fucking over his uh, alliance, of course. Didn't Howard kind of fuck over the alliance too by dropping as well? You well, know that's, what I mean? You know, you're right. You're right. And what about Spencer? He did that as well. Spencer fell if off you very think about early it, too, right? But that's why the smart is it all on fucking do? Jeremy's shoulders well, to keep the alliance together? It's already falling apart. That's what I'm saying. It's all for you know. It's like fucking. It's like a battle royal. There are times when you got to team up with somebody and hook up with them for a few minutes, you know, to for the greater good to try and get Andre the Giant out of the ring. And once he's out of the ring, well, then you go your separate ways. Dan was like a fucking martial artist in there, just manipulating everybody's emotions and fucking, he'd just sit there and laugh and just, he'd stir up the shit and go back and sit in a room. It's fucking great, man. Now, Jesse, we know she's nominated and she's jonesing for a cigarette. Mm, That's going to make you a little tense, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nominated and and, uh, and needing a cigarette. Why, but she's really having a hard time. And then uh, Judd, who seems like he could be a power player. We don't know much yet. And also it says here, we need more face time with this guy. Oh, apparently she took a bubble bath, too. Oh, yeah. And some, and Caitlin did as well on some sort of sex event already with uh, Jeremy, it said here. Mm. Topped with an apology to her dad. So. Ah, but that happened really <laughs> like in the middle of the night. Yeah, last night, actually. So... This morning, yeah. So subscribe to those live feeds there. Yeah. Which leads us to you never know what you're gonna see. Leads us to the oddball who is already kicking ass in the game, McCray, head of household and holds the veto already. Hmm. We shall see. Coming on strong in the beginning, usually not a good ploy, because you gotta hold on to that. But you never know. You might be able to slip through the cracks and let other people put targets on themselves in the meantime. Big Brother Africa is under, underway as well. That's right. Yeah. So if you're into that, uh, I don't know. Should we start watching that shit, Big Brother Africa? Do you think we could keep up with it? I, I barely can keep up with one. Okay. And then Nick also <laughs> stayed on the uh, popsicle for a long time. Well, yeah, as Nick well. was on that popsicle like a motherfucker. McCray said you're safe, so, which apparently he well, we held to. We stepped right over McCray, though, didn't no, we? No, we just talked about him. Did we? Mm-hmm. I missed that whole conversation. Well, you were talking about Africa. No, oh, I couldn't have talked about Africa that long. And then, of course, there's Spencer. I'm not sure who the oldest person in the house is, but hmm. uh, Spencer could go far or he could go quickly it's it's hard to say i I guess it depends on how aggressive he plays he's he talks like he's going to play aggressive and i'm thinking well if you do that everybody's going to know but hey guess what he's not on the block this week so i guess he's doing a good job so far so our 16 contestants big brother uk is also up oh yes yes so that's big brother we could understand because they'd be speaking english but I'm, I'm sure they still have different gameplay and things that would confuse mm. the shit out of me. But that's where we are right now. Big brother. It's out of control. You promised Already. people we were going to talk about other things, I too. I said, well, well, and we did. We talked about the TV <laughs> shows, new time slots. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I lost my fucking hat in the bus. Oh, I'm yeah. Pretty so about if, that. If you've seen that's a new uh, bus story. We haven't had one of those in a while. If you see Gene's hat. Now, should Let I call Lost and Found? Do you think it's worth it? I mean, I love my hat. Could, yeah, it could happen. It's worth a shot. Why don't you tweet me and let me know what I should do? Yeah, at, Help me. At GMR Podcast. Yeah. GMR. 